nit dafa soxla njanga pour mu muna dem kanam si aduna sini soko jangale ben fana rek ben fana bobu lay maga way soko jangale yeb ni nga gis ne mom yeb nit ki yeb dafa maga si fana yoyu nonu te lola 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 glory baptist nek di def ganaw bay bul bi thank you very much well in every church and in the ministry of the word in every area right from the beginning of christianity even in the new testament saint paul had women who helped with the work in fact men most of our work is done in many of our churches by women they have been very very instrumental even in jesus is jesus's ministry women helped a lot they supported the work of jesus the support of the work of St. Paul and others who started the Christian uh, religion. And today, we are lucky that we have here in our midst the women of the Glory Baptist Church. They are the women of the Women's Fellowship. And they are excited to celebrate this year's Mother's Day and not only to celebrate it with themselves, but to celebrate it in such a way that women of all the churches, women of all the places, women leaders, apart from them, they are women leaders in their churches. All three of these ladies sitting here are women leaders of the churches, but they want to extend it to all the women. So, Madam President, of the Women's Fellowship. Could you tell us what your work has been in support of the church and what you intend to do this Mother's Day and what you intend to do uh, as far as the convention is concerned? Thank you, sir. Yeah, Glory Baptist Women Fellowship started about 20 years ago and this 20, makes marks us 20 years 20th anniversary we thank God for how far he has brought us the glory Baptist women fellowship have been a very great support behind the church we have prayer meetings and in our meetings we pray to support the church spiritually and we go out not only that we go out from evangelism to bring in people into the church and also we prayed for the other people that are out there that are in need and we also pray for the nation as well not only for ourselves as women alone but we also pray for the nation as well and the Glory Baptist Women Fellowship we have been learning a lot of things in the fellowship, not only just to go and pray, pray alone. We help our women to learn other things that they don't know, things that other people know. We invite them to come and help us to know things like baking, cake, bread, making soap, shampoo, a lot of things. We can name them. And by God's grace, this year, Mother's Day, we don't want to enjoy it alone in our own fellowship. We want to, the whole nation, Christian kingdom, to come together to benefit. And not only Glory Baptist alone that will benefit from it. We want the leaders, women leaders in their churches, pastors, wives, to come together because we are bringing a great man of God from United Kingdom to come and teach us as women leaders, maybe you may say, I am not a leader. You don't know, tomorrow you might be a leader. Mm -hmm. So it is not limit to only leaders. It is all women and all people in Christian kingdom to come together, to come and listen to this man of God, to talk to us, to teach us how to, to, to be in, the, in leadership. 
as women in leadership, we need, we need to know a lot. There are a lot that we need to know. So this man of God is coming to teach us to know a lot about leadership. Praise the Lord. Thank you. Now we have the pastor's wife. And I know she knows much about the church. I know she supports the pastor. Now have you anything to add to what the Women's Fellowship President has just said? What she has not said, you may beef it up for us. Yeah. Yes? Um, we were just, uh, hallelujah. We were just four that started the women's group in 93. And our aim is to learn from the word. And then everything that we need to know as women, we learn from one another. And it's not just learning in the in the church, but our aim is to be a blessing to the community as well, to the whole Gambia. So at times we do organize programs that we give out food to the, th those who are in, in need. At times we go on visitation to other villages and towns, sending food and um, material things to the people in the villages. We, it's not just uh, food, clothing, anything that we can lay our hands on, we do send to the villages. At times, too, we do visit the hospitals to be a blessing to, especially those at the maternity ward. Those who are giving birth newly, we try to bring some small, small gifts to give to them. So these are some of the things that we've been doing as women. And this year, we want to be a blessing to pastors' wives, women leaders, women pastors, women in position. Whoever you are, as a woman, we want you to join us to celebrate the Mother's Day in a special way. But we, we have a man who is coming, Reverend Nana Benin from the United Kingdom, to speak to us to bless our hearts to know our responsibilities the things that we need to know as women leaders so that wherever we are we can be a 